<laughs> Did you want? Yeah. I can't wait to see you playing Joust. That's I, played, I, I used fun. to play Joust when I was a little kid. No, 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 no. I, I know, I know. But your mother actually brought up something really interesting. Was the whole idea of the games? And this is was really smart. I mean, your mother obviously is not is not a dumb person, but but so I don't mean to sound surprised, but. It's very smart for somebody that thinks like she does to begin with and that she's not into games was that was that the games that were made back the classic games were made for you to lose quickly because you had to you had to pay for each yep. one whereas games that are made today are made for the experience didn't have 40 hour games 24 hour games 36 hour games back then obviously because you know I mean, if you know uh, Nolan Bushnell, I think it's Nolan Bushnell, um, the the founder of Atari, you know, said basically twenty five cents for two minutes of gameplay, or up to two minutes of gameplay, you know, because if you do the math, you know, uh, there's a there's a finite amount of quarters that are going to go into a machine, you know, in an hour, even if it's steady play. So these games are meant to jump in, and they get they get harder, really much much quicker. In a, in a sense, and there's so much more about your your reflexes, you know, and your coordination, yeah. but a different, I think, a different kind of coordination because because of the nature of the controls, your whole body was in was into it, you know. I'll I will literally when I'm playing Robotron, if I'm really into yeah, it, yeah, you'll just kind of like you know, I'm standing there and I'm jumping around. I mean, I'm I'm my heart's racing when it's when it's done, and I know, that, but I'm also sweating. I I I've I've worked, and granted, at my age, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to move around too much to to work on the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you, you know what I mean? So it's it's really interesting. So it's like, hmm. like I've I've had a little taste of this world, you know, Tenchu, th- those kinds of things. But I've never really played a AAA game other than the when that when Star Wars um, um, Battlefront, Battlefront yeah. when the re the the EA Battlefront came out. And once, once I was, once the graphics, you know, I was just sort of done with that game. Um, plus, there was one level that just I wanted a different thing that I couldn't have, or I couldn't have two different things, and I wanted both of them. Or, or something. what it game was matter, this? It was Battlefront, the the, oh. the 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 EA the 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 Battlefront that I had to I had to wait until I got my new computer got before it. I could play it. Battlefront Two, like two thousand and five or whatever, Battlefront Two. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, there's, there's that game in, in, in my world and, and every other game. I'm not a big console person, obviously. And I've talked a little bit about console stuff in my, you know, on when my boomer dad stuff when I'm playing. I actually bring you up a lot when I, my kid would say this, my kid would say that. So I, I promised, I promised people that you, you know a hell of a lot about, about consoles and games yeah, and I when they were released and all that stuff. The and, knowledge on consoles and games released. But, all right. So Ninja, when was Ninja released? 1998. <laughs> and it was going to, and it, it was originally going to be ported to both the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. But due to time constraints or budget cuts, they had to scrap the Sega Saturn port of Ninja. Mm. So it only got a <laughs> PS1 release. What about Tenchu? 98. 98. 2000 for the prequel, Tenchu 2. 2003 for Wrath of Heaven. Return from Darkness, which was the Xbox port, I believe, came out in 2004. And then in 2005, you got Fatal Shadows, followed by Tenchu Z or Tenchu Z in 2000, I think, 7 or 8 for Xbox 360. Uh, Resident Evil Timeline. The Timeline? Yeah. Okay. Resident Evil Timeline. Got the original Resident Evil in '96. Then you have RE2 in '98, RE3 Nemesis, which was originally supposed to be titled just Resident Evil Nemesis, because it was technically a spinoff of RE2. But Capcom demanded that no, it needs to be a numbered title, and so they threw a three at the end. So it's Resident Evil Three Nemesis. Then in the year 2000, it was Resident Evil Code Veronica X, which was supposed to be Resident Evil Three, but because they put three in Nemesis, they just had to t- give that its just they kept it at code Veronica X. And then 
2002 was when we got the RE remake for GameCube, and I believe Resident Evil Zero came out that same year on GameCube as well. 2005, we got the original Resident Evil 4. 2009, we got RE5. 2012 was RE6. RE7 was 2017. Um, Resident Evil 8 Villages was 2021. Then we had RE2 Remake 2019, RE3 Remake 2020, and now, and now next later on this month we're getting the, re the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Those are just the main series titles. I didn't really pay attention to the spinoffs. <laughs> oh. What's your favorite console? I mean, if you had to, like, the modern, so, so, like, like, um, wow, that, but that's, that's a tough question, but it really is, 2. right? What's your favorite console? Well, like, current, because, I mean, Sega's not even making consoles right now. Sega anymore, hasn't made right? consoles but, in, like, 20 years. Okay. But the, at the time, I remember, because we actually had a Dreamcast. I remember the Dreamcast. And I had a Dreamcast. I had the Dreamcast up until a couple years ago, but I, I remember, I remember at the time the Dreamcast was like, I remember the first time I saw Crazy Taxi, I was like, holy shit. I mean, that that was the first <laughs> time that I actually saw what looked like an arcade video game on a television screen in my house. That was the first time really? was that the Dreamcast was the first time was the first time that I looked that I looked and I and I said and I said that lo other than other than like the, the Namco, you know, the Namco rip, but like. But like you know, really, it was just, it was just that that was that that to me was just was was the first time that it, it felt like it felt like the the home consoles were like keeping up with with what you saw in the arcades, and that was back in that yucky part of the arcades when everything started to go into the the ticket shit and all that stuff. Um, when I used to drop you and your sister off to Taekwondo and go to the mall oh, wow. and play oh, um, play, play, the, play grid. the grid. Played the grid. I remember that arcade game. It was it had that weird trackball thing for like the character movement, and you would like. I yeah, still the grid. I still my my. I remember the grid. My, my, you probably you probably can't see it, but my. Well, you can see my flight stick, and there's. A I little, remember that. Yeah, that custom um, right setup back. you showed but me. That, I did. I did the flight stick. The flight stick and the because you needed the you needed the thumb, okay. and there, you still needed a button for the grid. So you you still had to go off off of that. Wow, that was so, if I had if I could have ten consoles, ten classic arcade consoles, any any ten, but I could only have ten. Three of them would be grids, so that you could play the grid with two other people. That's right. They got and I'm not that guy at all. I mean, my consoles would be like the cool stuff that like the Star Wars, but the one that you sat in, Discs of Tron. That you sat in the battle zone. Oh the, yeah, you know, I remember some of those. I remember when when I was yeah. a little kid, 